Hey everyone, Andres from Newsreel here, and I'm coming at you with another video. And in this one, I want to address the questions I keep getting regarding the Play Store for BlackBerry 10 OS. I, I know that uh, other people really want to still be able to use um, the 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 Play Store on their BlackBerry 10 OS, but there's a reason why it's it's so tedious and fewer and fewer uh, features of it are working. This is my one of one of the number one videos on my channel for a reason. And this is the updated version to do it to the previous video that I did a couple years before this one. So I published this back on October 4, 2016 and most of this is still up to date. If you check out this video, which I'll leave a description, the video description down below, um, you'll be able to see uh, the as best as I can walk you through and uh, timestamp and give you all of the tools that you need to install but the thing is this is step one there's still another step in order for you to get um, certain Google apps to work not all of them are gonna work because of a little thing called Google Play services you can't exactly patch Google Play services and expect your uh, apps to work it doesn't work that way because this is basically a bootleg version of the Google Play services that Cobalt made available to us BlackBerry 10 OS users so unfortunately if you were hoping that YouTube would work without a problem it's not gonna work at least not that way unless you you patch it I'll leave a link to that in the video description down below so you can check out that patching video as well but before I go into that this is probably why I, I caution to still use this because in the video description links, I link to these other articles that are at the Crackberry Forum websites because this is the most important section where you'll find the absolute most information as to the project that is the Google Play Store for BlackBerry 10 by Cobalt, or as I call him, uh, Crackberry Cobalt, because he, pre he prepared this exclusively for the Crackberry fan base. So if you're still hanging on to your BlackBerry OS uh, 10 OS device and you and you haven't gotten your Google Play services to work or your apps to work uh, this is the place to dig up and see who's still using it who has some tools that might uh, work for you because as far as I know um, I believe Cobalt has basically retired from supporting this app uh, the applications or the APKs that he prepared because this is the tutorial uh, that he wrote on how to get it to work but the apps themselves, most importantly, the Play Store, where is it? Uh, the build, the build, the build. He gives a, um, the, uh, I guess, the change log on these builds down here. But I'm trying to get to the section where he gives it the dates as to when the last one was um, fixed. Okay, so the last version is Google Play Store 6.0. So now let's see where the download links are. They should be somewhere up here. Um, there it is, the Google Play Store 6.0 build. The last update was October 1st, 2017. We are more than half a year in to uh, the updates that, that Google itself has rolled out. And the Google Play services that uh, Cobalt himself uh, patched have not been updated since April 28, 2016. So that's two years already and relying on a on a forked or bootleg version of Google Play services that is not up to date. And the thing is, every time the Google Play Store is updated or any time another app gets updated or a major version number overhaul for certain applications, the APIs have to be updated on that and if they don't match Google Play services a certain version number they are not gonna work out and if I'm wrong with my my assessment please try to correct me but the the results are the same they're just not going to work snapchat not gonna work Facebook it'll appear but just crash after the startup is you just won't be able to launch it unless it was officially supported by Facebook in the first place which it is not but most importantly applications from Google themselves that directly connect to Google Play services most of them will fail you can patch them if you want to strip the original Google Play services off it but when an application is so deep uh, two years later into these software updates trying to strip them of those Google Play services may not work with the patch that's trying to rely on APIs from two years ago this is where you would go I have this link also in the video description 
the Google Play Services Patcher that has not been updated for two to three years as well. So can this work? Sometimes it can, sometimes it doesn't. Your miles will vary, but look, released November 15, 2015. So I have had difficulty with, with this thing, which is why I basically gave up on it. And there is yet more information on how to patch Android uh, apps if you're still having trouble. So there's an entire other Crackberry section uh, just to uncomplicate this. And all these links are, uh, at least most of them are on my video description. This is another one that's pasted by Cobalt within the forum to get you to someone else that has success doing it. But even this tutorial walkthrough is from July 2016, which was two years ago. So what is my point in all this? The time has come to move on. And if you're not ready to move on, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just coming to that point where most of BlackBerry 10 OS's services are gonna just halt because it just they're not gonna be supported. Uh, BlackBerry was supposed to release um, software version 10.3.4 at some point, and that, is, I probably can't no longer going to materialize because there's no software crew to even work on that anymore. So it's it's unfortunate that it's come to that point. We love our Blackberries, but that's where the Blackberry Key 2 comes in to try to fill in the void that unfortunately will never truly be filled because this is just um, Blackberry skin on, on Android. And I really love BlackBerry 10 OS. It was an OS that was ahead of its time that never got the attention it was due. And it was secure. And unfortunately, it's just my opinion is it's, it's time to move on. But if you're still going to fight it out, these are the resources that I have linked in the video description of my video. Update how to install Cobalt Google Play Store on BlackBerry 10 OS that... I will link to this video that I'm showing you as I'm capturing my screen that I can that you can go visit and check it out to find out how to get uh, if you can still get some of these things working. Some people still find success. It depends on so many different factors. What oh what BlackBerry 10 OS are you running? What uh, apps you're trying to install? Some of them you can rely on older APKs and don't update it, and it'll still be able to work. But uh, in most cases. Um, uh, manufacturers and developers do not um, support older versions of their applications that's just the fyi a psa take it as you will so all i say to you is good luck unfortunately i've had to move on and even though i don't officially use a blackberry right now as my daily driver i'm still waiting for that one blackberry that will fill my void and pry me away from all these glass slabs that i'm just exhausted of so that's that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Keep fighting the good fight, and good luck to you all. Like, share, subscribe, stay in the know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.